for teacher specialization english examination and that is the third topic that is linguistics so for linguistics we have phonology ipa and linguistics together we have 16 percentage of the test and we have 20 questions under this category what is linguistics this section accesses the teachers knowledge of general linguistics including the understanding of the ipa and phonology the linguistic specialization comprises courses that mainly concern applied linguistics with an overall focus on perspectives and methods of studying and understanding language usage text formations cognition etc theoretical linguistics include phonetics that means language sounds phonology that means language sound interactions morphology that means word parts syntax that means arrangement of words in a sentence semantics that is word and sentence meanings pragmatics that is language in use we will learn about each one of this in detail so the core areas that is phonetics what are human speech sounds and how they are produced that is what we are going to see in phonetics if you see phonology it is how do these sounds pattern systematically form languages now if you see morphology that means what is the internal structure of words syntax is how do words combine into sentences similarly semantics means how do words or sentences carry meaning so there are many things we have to look into in the further slide there are three branches of phonetics articulatory phonetics the study of how the vocal tract produces the sounds of language auditory phonetics the study of the perception of speech sounds acoustic phonetics the study of the physical properties of the speech sounds vocal folds or cords the vocal folds also known commonly as vocal cords are composed of two membranes stretched horizontally across the larynx voiced versus voiceless vibration of the vocal cords results in voicing which is a feature of all vowels and some consonants such consonants are voiced when the vocal cords are drawn wide open letting air go through the glottis without causing vibration the sounds produced in such a condition are voiceless orthographic representation of speech sounds the ipa international phonetic alphabet a standardized and internationally accepted system of phonetic transcription the basic principle of the ipa is using one letter to represent one sound now going to classification of english sounds english speech sounds are classified into two types vowels and consonants 
Vowels mean speech sounds which are produced with no obstruction of the vocal tract so no turbulence or a total stopping of the air can be perceived. Consonants are speech sounds which are produced by constricting or obstructing the vocal tract at some place to modulate the flow of air in the vocal tract. We will learn about consonants in much more detail. Classification of consonants. English consonants may be classified according to two dimensions. The manner of articulation, the place of articulation. First, we will look into the manner of articulation. The manner of articulation is the way the air stream is affected as it flows from the lungs and out of the mouth and nose. According to the manner of articulation, consonants are of six types. Stop, nasal, fricative, affricate, lateral and approximate. Stop or plosive means the letters like p, t, k. The next one is nasal which has a nasal sound m, n, r. And next one fricative means f, s, z. Affricate is f and z. Then lateral is l and approximate is r, w, j. Consonant parameters, phonetic properties for their classification. A speech sound made with obstruction of the airflow is said to be articulated. Therefore, to describe different articulations, some basic parameters should be taken into consideration. Consonants are normally specified for three descriptive parameters. The place of articulation, manner of articulation and voicing. Now, we are looking into the place or the point of articulation. There are nine types of place or point of articulation. The place or point of articulation, it refers to the horizontal relationship between the articulators, what moves and in which direction it moves. So some of them are bilabial, labiodental, dental, alveolar, retroflex, palato-alveolar, palatal, velar, glottal. Now coming to bilabial sounds. These are sounds formed using both the upper and the lower lips. M, B, P and W. These are the alphabets M, B, P and W are the alphabets which give us a bilabial sound. Now labiodental sounds are sounds formed with the upper teeth and the lower lip. F and V are the letters which give you the labiodental sounds. F and W. Dental sounds are sounds formed with the tip of the tongue touching the upper teeth. So, the two letters that give us this sound are T and D. So, T and D. So, wherever a T and D comes, our tongue touches the upper teeth when we pronounce it. Alveolar sound are sounds formed with the front part of the tongue on the alveolar ridge, which is the rough bony ridge immediately behind and above the upper teeth. So, the letters that give us this sound are T, D, N, S, Z and L. So, T, D, N, S, Z, L. All these sounds are alveolar sounds. Retroflex sound is a sound from the tip of the tongue when it is curled back to articulate with the part of the palate immediately behind the alveolar ridge but there is no contact between the organs tongue moves back so it is r so the tongue is moving back when you say the letter sound r r alveopalatal sound sounds which are produced with the tongue at the very front of the palate near the alveolar ridge 
are called alveolar palatals. Sounds like ch, sh, j give us these sound. Palatal sounds, platal consonants are consonants articulated with the body of the tongue raised against the hard plate, the middle part of the or, or the roof of the mouth. So j, j sound is a pure palatal sound. Now the velar sound, the obstruction occurs when the back of the tongue touches a soft palate at the back of the mouth. So K, G and N, N gives you that sound. So it is K, G and N, sing or monkey. If you see mm, that sound when it comes into action, you get the velar sound. Next one is the glottal sound. The sounds are articulated using our glottis. So H is the sound which gives you a glottal. H is a letter that gives you the glottal sound. So H as in hospital. So we will learn about vowels in our next uh, blog so hope this will be useful for you for your exam and i have done some research and summarized in a short form so you can also google and find out more about each of these in detail thank you so much and have a good day